Okay, video here about the Iowa caucus, what happened with the app and Pete Buttigieg, because there's no videos on this on YouTube, so I'm going to make a video about, oh, there's one video, it's very specific from one person, but ultimately, what's going on here is some fucked up shit. We have corruption deep in the government. This has been going on since Hillary, before Hillary probably, and Obama even. Obama didn't win Iowa, and Hillary didn't win Iowa. Just like Pete Buttigieg didn't win Iowa. So it turns out that the senior advisor of Pete Buttigieg is the same person who worked for the Clinton campaign and worked for the Obama campaign. And guess who the senior advi advisor is married to? The owner of the app, Shadow Corporation. Shadow, we're a shadow. You you don't even see us. Cause we're a shadow. But yeah, these fuckers have been doing this for years. They've been rigging rigging the election for years. Obama wasn't meant to be the president, and neither was H Hillary Clinton. And the only reason Hillary Clinton lost is because he's going against Russia. And Russia can beat anyone. <laughs> so your corruption just didn't work. So, in this case, we have Mayor Pete, Bo Pete Buttigieg, Buttigieg, the butt I judge. Yeah, this guy is a cheater. A straight up fucking cheater. Just like Obama cheated and just like Hillary cheated fucking Bernie Sanders. And... The numbers, they have 1% for Andrew Yang. 1% for Andrew Yang. And they've only reported 71% of the total amount of votes, right? So, we have Yang at 1%, right? And so, what happens is... They're trying to smear them. When we we all know the numbers here. We know the numbers that 70% of Americans can't afford an unexpected $500 bill. Okay? No one else is offering any fucking money to anyone. The federal government, the so-called Federal Reserve, it's not federal. It's owned by a private corporation. They have every interest to stop Andrew Yang from trying to give prosperity to the people. Okay? And they're not going to win. Now, what I'm interested to see is the New Hampshire. Everything in Iowa, I, I don't believe any of the results there. The results of Iowa are 100% incon inconclusive. Pete Buttigieg definitely didn't win. There's no way in fucking hell. This piece of shit rich scumbag would have fucking won over someone offering free fucking money okay so and it, it goes goes to show you know why we've why we lost in the first place why we lost against Trump in 2016 right is because Hillary had the same fucking the same fucking person in, in her campaign staff and did the same fucking shit in Iowa the same exact shit the same fucking shit. And now, and now we have them doing it again. And so, we can't believe any of the shit, any of the information coming out of Iowa. And Nevada has the same system, but they're not going to use it because of all this bullshit. And guess how much they, they paid for, they only paid $60,000. Iowa car because they paid sixty thousand. You know what they did? They gave them the the cheapest price for the app. They gave the most effective price because you know why? They knew they were going to get money from Pete Buttigieg, who they were going to give the election to, and money from Joe Biden. They got money from Joe Biden too. They knew they were going to get this money because that's why they charged so little f for the app. Only sixty thousand dollars. You only charge sixty thousand dollars. That's it. To, to have an app that's going to 
determined next president of the United States of America, $60,000, you undercut the, the competition just so you could s secure the position, and then you fucking charge the, the competition to pay to win. That's all you do. It's real simple. And that's exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened. And so, any information in Iowa is totally null. It's bullshit. It's, it's not, there's nothing there. None of that information means absolutely anything whatsoever. And there's not enough videos on this online right now. So, I wanted to have a, make a video so you can get the information. Because I care about you. I care about all of humanity. Just like Andrew Yang cares about humanity, right? And they want, you know who they want to win? If not Pete Buttigieg, they want Bernie Sanders to win. Because the entire right wing is anti-socialism, okay? The entire right wing of, of our people in the United States is our anti-socialism, okay? And they want... Bernie Sanders to win because they know that Bernie Sanders is going to lose against Donald Trump because he's going to go on about socialist bullshit. They know that Andrew Yang will not lose against Donald Trump because he's not pushing a socialist agenda. He says the UBI, the freedom dividend, is capitalism where you don't start at zero. You don't start at zero. And he's defended that position and Bernie only represents socialism and people didn't want that people on the right who are idiots they're like well we don't want this shit we want to pay money we want to have we want to pay cap we want to pay communistic tax rates in America and not get any of the communistic benefits that's what we want because we're idiots that's 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 the ground that we bred okay and so we have this whole fucking shit show lining up. It's a shit show lining up here. And they want Bernie Sanders to win, ultimately. And Pete Buttigieg paid to get up at the top to be equal with Bernie Sanders. Okay? Because we know there's no way in fucking hell people didn't vote for Andrew Yang. And they're probably holding, that's the other 30% probably going to come out in the, later after everything's all done and they're talking about New Hampshire after they're, after they're moved on to New Hampshire that's when they'll re release the last 30% and Andrew Yang's going to jump up at least 10% and there's there's still 18 delegates left what, 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 where's the other 18 delegates you know where, where are they going to be appointed to you know what about the people of the fucking country? What about the people starving on homeless in the streets? You know, what about the people who can't afford an unexpected five hundred dollar bill? What about them? What about the seventy percent of Americans who can't afford an unexpected five hundred dollar bill? Huh? You think they just didn't show up to vote? You think people who go spend money on the lottery, who buy lottery tickets, who get this lottery ticket that says win a thousand dollars a month for life. You think they didn't show up and vote for to win a thousand dollars a month for fucking life? No, it's bullshit. It's propaganda, and it's controlled. So I'm making a video. This is my video. I'm gonna keep it under ten minutes so people will actually watch this. I love you all, Yang Gang 2020. And either way, I will write in Andrew Yang just to prove a point, because. We're not going to vote for anyone else. We're, not, we're just not doing it. Not going to vote for anyone else. And it's going to be a big mistake if they don't pick Andrew Yang. So, there you go. We love you all. Adios. Bye-bye, Yang gang. Talk to you next time. Bye.